What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a lightning effect in Vegas Pro 15. So for this you're going to be needing a green screen lightning effect, which I will be providing in the description. And right now what I have done is laid out markers. Now what these markers are, this is where my effect is going to start. The second marker is where my effect is going to end. So this is the green screen, and this is what you have to do to lay it out. So at the bottom is your normal video. Above it is going to be the green screen. Now you can right click and delete the audio because there's no audio to it. And then with the markers, we know where to trim it. So I'm going to press S and delete the remaining up here. Now, next thing, we need to get rid of this green background. So the way you do that, you head over to video effects and from video effects, you come over to chroma key. Now from there where the default is, drag and drop this onto your green screen video. Now by default it might do this, that's okay, where it says color, select the color box, select the color picker and select the green background. Now you can see it's all gone. Select alpha mask just to make sure everything is uh, white that you want to keep and that should be the lightning only as you can see. So uncheck that, X out of it and now it's time to position it. Now for this I'm going to be using track motion. So it should be here, if not it's going to be on more and it should be under edit visible button set as you can see it says track motion make sure it is checked and select ok and it should be here so obviously the main thing here is sizing it down and rotating it so what you need to do is make sure lock aspect ratio is checked along with scale about center and you also want rotation enabled from there come to a corner and bring it down after that simply rotate it and then after that, simply drag it down into the right position. So there you go. Now this is where things get more time consuming. What we're gonna be doing is going across in our timeline. Every time our hands move, we're also gonna be moving this. So have sync cursor checked, and this will make things a lot easier. So I'm gonna come across, find where my hand movements um, occur. So as you can see right there, this hand dropped a bit. So I'm gonna tilt it and bring it towards the center a bit more and you get the idea so I'm gonna fast forward all of this part and I'll be back to you when it's done okay so I believe that is everything done you can see I've left quiet some big gaps so this is the first time I'm gonna be seeing it as well hopefully it's accurate if not it can always be fixed let's play it from the beginning now hopefully it doesn't lag there we go seems to be tracked pretty well of course the quality is gonna be bad because uh, well, I'm playing it on preview and auto so it doesn't lag, but it looks pretty well tracked uh, Just to put it back to best and full You can see that's the real quality. It does look really nice, but that's how you will create this effect as well It is super simple um, You can see once again my keyframes was not a hundred percent accurate like going frame by frame I just skipped through to the parts where I was moving and simply adjusting it you don't need to go frame by frame because that is over the top and it is really unnecessary. As you can see, the amount of frames I skipped, I still created a pretty good effect, probably a little bit closer in terms of frame sizes and it would be perfected, but not frame by frame because that is over the top. But that's how simple it is to create a lightning effect in Vegas Pro 15.